This video is brought to you by ProVideoSchool.com. Sign up for live online training and view other free tutorials at ProVideoSchool.com. Hello everybody, this is Paul Escano with ProVideoSchool.com. I am now on screen so you can see me for the first time on YouTube. Hello everybody. Uh, this tutorial is going to be a quick five-part series on essential uh, Final Cut editing workflow tips. These are just some random tips that I pick that I use all the time. Uh, specifically, these are tips that I probably didn't learn until maybe second, third, fourth year using Final Cut Pro. So I don't expect you know all these shortcuts. Uh, they're really quick to learn, uh, fast, easy little shortcuts, and by the time you learn them, if you uh, put them into your editing repertoire, hopefully you'll save some time and maybe get a better result. Uh, so the first part is going to be what I call uh, match frame editing. Now, a lot of you may have gone through the match uh, frame chapter in your Final Cut book if you learn from a book, uh, or you've heard about it, but maybe you don't really use it effectively. This uh, technique is really helpful. I pretty much use it almost uh, every five to ten minutes while I'm doing an edit. So uh, I'm going to draw your attention to uh, this part of the timeline where my playhead is. And uh, I use this a lot more when I have an editor doing a rough cut for me and then I want to just finalize the cut. Sometimes, you know, maybe where they put the transition doesn't work for me or uh, when they, where the edit point was when they started a cut doesn't work for me and I, I want to change something about a specific clip. And let's say they've layered it on the timeline quite a bit. So you'll see over here, uh, I have my base video layer in track one. I have a, uh, a graphic in track two that uh, creates an effect on that base video layer. And then I have a couple cuts quickly here in track three, and then I have something else in track four. So um, something that I might want to do, uh, here's an example. Let's say I've never seen the source footage, and I, I can see that they've used something that I know works, but maybe there's a piece before or after their in and out point that I think might work better. So instead of having to go into my bin area and try to dig to find that source footage, which depending on the shoot might take you forever, what I would use in this situation is just match frame editing to find that clip with those in and out points, and then I could just scrub in the viewer where I need to. So let's say it's this small clip here uh, on video track three. Uh, the shortcut is simple. It's just the F key. So I'm going to click that, uh, that clip right there. I'm going to hit the F key. Wow, my camera just fell. <laughs> the trials and tribulations of webcasting. Okay, there we go. I don't think I'm going to edit that out. I just I like that. That was awesome. I'll get flamed, I bet, if I don't. Okay, so uh, I'm going to hit the F key. And when I do that, I see that their clip, the way they marked it, pops up in the viewer right there. So that's their end point. That's their out point. And uh, let's say I, I don't like that, and I don't know how much handle is on that, on the in and the out, so I'm going to go past see that there's really not much happening after their out point, but you can see there's a lot of footage that happens before their in point. So let's say I want to take the clip where he pans over to the backside of this fisherman. I know not extremely compelling footage, but we'll, we'll use that. And I want to do a new in and out point. So I go, okay, let's do an in and out right there. Let's do an out right there. I'm just going to delete uh, that clip or that clip on track three that they had, and then I'll put in my new timeline right there. Uh, disable the audio track here and then there it is so that's one quick way why where you might use match frame editing just uh, you see a clip on the timeline and then you want to open the master clip uh, based on the in and the out point of that clip it might not uh, make too much sense in this tutorial but when you find yourself in an editing situation that calls for this it's it's a huge time saver big lifesaver as well um, so let me talk about one more thing on this match frame editing is what we just did there is we opened up the master clip um, that's already been imported into Final Cut with the in and the out point that he set. If there was any uh, effects on that clip, those would be brought in as well. Now there's this other option that I didn't learn until maybe five years after learning Final Cut. Uh, it's, uh, it's Command uh, Option F, and you can get to it also by going to... Um, uh, what is it? View, match frame, source file. So this is very similar. You're still getting the clip. Let's do the same exact one. Actually, let's do the next one here. You click it, you're going to hit Command, Option, F. You're getting that clip, but you're not getting the in and the out points. 
and you're also not opening up a version of that master clip in the viewer. What you're actually doing is you're, it's as if the viewer is looking at that source file on your hard drive and opening it up from scratch. Uh, so there's n nothing that you may have applied to that clip comes in. So no effects, no time remaps, nothing, no crops or anything, distorts, uh, filters, anything like that. So why that might be useful is sometimes um, if you've ever tried to speed things up or slow things down when you had a lot of tracks going, a lot of times Final Cut will give you an error message because it can't appropriately move things forward or backwards after that point. It's, you've probably seen it if you try to speed stuff up uh, in a complex timeline. So what opening uh, up the master or the source file will allow you to do is you can actually uh, put a time remap on that clip alone. So what I might do is, you know, let's say this clip right here, I wanted to speed it up by 300%. If I right-click it, go to speed, 300%, I'm going to get an error message. All right, it says unable to complete command, a conflict occurred during a trim operation. So it's trying to speed that clip up, which will make it uh, one-third of the size, but it can't, it's just the way Final Cut works, can't do that properly. So if I open that, that source clip up in the viewer, which I have here, I can uh, you know, find the in and the out point that I want to make. I can go to the motion tab, go down to the time rematch dropdown, uh, find my workflow is a little speed, 300%. Type that in. You can't see that here because my window's getting cut off. It's a small workspace here. Now I've speeded it up 300%, and I can bring it in uh, with that speed up and kind of just replace it right there. And that's an easy way to do it. Um, it's one one way to do it. So that is uh, match frame editing using the F key or the command option F key. Hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next part. This video is brought to you by ProVideoSchool.com. Sign up for live online training and view other free tutorials at ProVideoSchool.com.